The battle you've been waiting for. The Canon EOS R with the 40 millimeter pancake lens versus the Fujifilm X-T20 with the 27 millimeter pancake lens. Fight to the death. It's what you've been asking for and what you... Hey guys. <laughs> just kidding. I, this is the battle no one's been waiting for, but just out of curiosity, I was on my way to New York, so I grabbed my favorite camera, the Fujifilm X-T20, with my favorite lens to walk around with, the Fujifilm uh, 27 millimeter pancake lens, just great for its throw in a bag size. And I looked over at the EOS R, which I've been testing. Thank you, B&H, for lending us the EOS R. I'm staring at the EOS R with its 50 millimeter 1.2 lens. Oh my God, that thing is heavy. And that's the thing, when you choose a camera, you really wanna pick a camera that you enjoy bringing with you. Uh, so kind of as a joke, I, I slapped on one of my favorite pancake lenses for Canon is the 40 millimeter 2.8 lens. It still has a huge hunk of nose compared to the Fuji X-T20. Honestly, guys, the original intent of this video was to go out and get you tons of samples, show you side by side <laughs> between the two cameras. But honestly, nothing sucks the joy out of photography more than doing test shots of things. I just wanted to enjoy using the cameras. I wanted to see what they felt like in my hands, the overall experience of which camera do I prefer if I was going out and doing street photography? And let's face it, we know what's gonna happen in the comment section. People are just gonna defend which brand they love, so it doesn't really matter. So here's what I found out. I learned these are both fantastic cameras, obviously. I think the days of us doing side-by-side -side image comparison and sharpness and which is better of lenses, I think those days are numbered. Both these cameras can take fantastic images to print, to post, to share. That's what it's all about, guys. And I found that I enjoyed using both cameras. Overall, the EOS R had a better experience with touchscreen. The EVF is so much nicer on the EOS R, and it's just easier to hold the EOS R. So I think if I overall wanted just one camera to do everything, if I was starting out, it would be the EOS R. However, they say the best camera is the one that you have with you all the time, and that for me is the Fuji X-T20. You could tell by how beat up it is. It's the one I grab. It's the one I always want to bring with me everywhere. And with that 27 millimeter pancake lens, it's just perfect in a pocket. In the end, these were both great cameras and had a great time shooting. And that's what it's all about. I hate to disappoint you, but there are no winners except you guys, because you got to sit through this whole video. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you next time.